Hey, what's up guys? As you guys know, I don't trust the shopkeepers one little bit. So I've decided to do the challenge of once I leave the fountain, I can't go back. That means no dying, no recalling, and no walking back to the fountain, which essentially means I can't buy items. This also means I can't buy Orn, since Orn's in league with the shopkeepers, and I don't trust that little bastard. Plus, it'd probably be too easy. So since I can't buy items, I'm going to need to find a champion that scales and can be somewhat useful to the team without any items. You might think Kindred would be useful since she's got a stacking ability, but without items, she's very, very weak and can't really provide any utility to the team. Nasus has a similar stacking ability, but you have to get in melee range of someone, you're going to be extremely squishy, and you're most likely going to be pretty useless without any CC for the team. So the two champions I've narrowed it down to is Sion and Vega. Sion, you can stack health with your W as well as Grasp and some other runes, making you a bit more useful late game, and you've got CC as well. Vega, you've also got CC, your range, so it's going to be harder for you to die in lane, and you can still stack health and AP. So I'm starting to lean towards Vega, and I'm going to try him out first to see how it goes. Alright, so these are the summoner spells we're going to go. I'm going to stack health with Grasp, as well as Overgrowth, and then hopefully I'll be getting some AP with Gathering Storm. So as the game goes on, I will be scaling a little bit, so that's going to be helpful. This is to keep me alive, and this is to actually mean I'll do a little bit of damage. It's not going to be much, it's mainly going to be my stun that really helps the team out. I'm going uh, Barrier because TP is not going to help me much. Ignite isn't going to help me because I'm probably not going to kill anyone. I just need to stay alive, that's the plan. Alright, so items. Uh, corrupting Potion is not going to be helpful at all. I could maybe go Doran's Shield for health, but I think I'm going to need um, the Ring for mana. Basically, I have to play as cowardly as I can possibly play. I don't have to worry about CSing. All I have to worry about is stacking my um, passive and um, stacking grasp. So I should be very cowardly lane. Should be chilled out. Hopefully, I don't get ganked. So playing as a ranged person is actually really bad because I was hoping I could just stack grasp for free. But every time I try and stack against the Teemo, he's just going to auto me. So this is actually really bad. And he's playing like super aggressive too. I really don't want to poke him because I don't care about killing him. It's weird not like last sitting because like I don't have to. That like sucks so bad he wasn't in tower range. Like seriously game. But, well, we lost. Alright, I got a good feeling about this game. Got some different runes. I'm versing a top laner who's melee, so I can stack grasp. I want to play as cowardly as humanly possible. So let's just see how it goes. Alright, we actually got a kill. <laughs> what the fuck? He legit just entered. God damn it, I'm versing a top laner, he just goes ham. I want someone who's just peaceful, man. Oh, fuck me, man. Why can't I verse people who just chill the fuck out in lane? I played another game of Vega and forgot to start the recording, but it doesn't matter. I die in the first 10 minutes. Vega just isn't working. Trying to stack just means people go so aggressive on me that they just kill me. So there is one champion I realized, and I can't believe I didn't think of him before, but Cho'Gath, he got buffed this patch, I can stay at a safe distance, he's got great sustain, he's got true damage on his ult, and he can stack health with his ult. So I'm thinking he's going to be a really good pick. So my rune's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to get Inspiration second, so I can get Boots for late game. going to get Biscuit, just to give me a bit more sustain. Grass, so I can get a bit more health. Um, second Wind, as well as some sort of defensive um, runes. I guess it is good on this champion. There is incentive to CS because it gives me back health. Nice, man. We actually got a kill. Alright, things are going pretty well so far. I'm actually quite liking Choga as opposed to Vega. It will give you a lot more respect in lane. <laughs> 
The sad part is I'm actually sort of enjoying playing like a coward. <laughs> the only sort of issue is I do use a lot of mana. I can get some of it back by uh, last hitting minions. But I'm thinking maybe a Doran's Ring might be better than a shield. So this does keep me quite healthy. There's been so many times I could have killed this uh, Garen, but I would lose a lot of health in doing so and it would leave me vulnerable. Wow, I didn't even realize Garen had Ignite because he never got me low enough to kill me. I might have been able to kill him there, but it would have been risky and I'm playing like a coward, man. Shut down. This Katarina wants my blood, man. <laughs> you can't kill a coward. Cowards live forever. Please don't tell me they try and dive me. Maybe they're just DMing. Turret plating will soon fall. Man, this cat really wants my ass. Holy shit. What is going on? There we go, baby. We don't even got a stack on a champion. Fuck that cat, man, trying to come up top and kill me. Now I'm hoping this plant's up so we can grab some of that good snack. Damn, this cat really wants me. Wow. Maybe she knows what I'm trying to do. She's like, I don't want this guy to live this whole game. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What's going on, man? Why is she still here? Is she trolling the Garen or is she actually just trying to kill me? I don't like it, man. Alright, so my challenge isn't so much winning the game. We're gonna win this. It's gonna be surviving this goddamn Katarina. I actually feel so strong, even though I got 4k gold. Damn, I need to hit that. Yummy. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm carrying and I've got 5k gold. <laughs> Alright, so landing phase is done. I have to stick with my team, play like a coward and try and win this. Dude, I'm getting fat stacks on my ult. And they surrendered. We did it. Trogath is so good! All you have to do, you don't have to base and win it with him! Holy shit. I thought this challenge was gonna take so long. After those Vega games of getting dicked, I'm like, yeah, this could take me a whole day of playing. One game of Trogath, one game of Big Beastie Boy, and that's all you need. Oh, I'm actually so happy. Where's, where's, uh, Udia? I love you, man. I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even use my last biscuit. That was a lot tougher than I thought when I was playing other champions. But damn, Trogath without items. He's a monster. Man, I was destroying people. Imagine if I had items. I'd just be chomping everyone. The good part of this challenge is it really taught me how to play like a coward. Because I go ham too much. Far too much. Well, we've done that challenge. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.